This is tutorial number 118, and it covers how to use the Snap feature within Katia v5. To start off, open up a new product file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, some parts to create an assembly or a product, and from them we're going to use the Snap feature to create a positional assembly. So to start off, let's bring these components in. So let's click Insert, Existing Component, click the product, and we'll click 111A, click Open, and we'll bring in the other parts. So Insert, Existing Component, click the product, 111B, click Open, and we'll just position it to the left, click OK, click Insert, Existing Component with Positioning, click the product, 111B again, and we'll bring this one to the right, and insert existing component, product 1, and 111C. Click open, and we'll just drag this down. Click OK. So what we're going to use in this tutorial is the snap feature, and it's this feature right here. And what this does is it's going to create a positional uh, assembly, so you're able to snap features and snap the parts into different features. Using this tool, it's a combination of a coincident mate and a uh, contact mate. So you're able to snap faces to faces, uh, lines to lines, points to points, and you're also able to uh, put circles, uh, like line them up so we can throw this circle into that circle and make a coincident mate. Now, uh, with this tool, uh, Personally, it's my favorite one for creating uh, positional assemblies. Uh, it's really quick, really easy. It works like the other ones, how the first one that you click is the one that's going to move. So you click this one to move it into this one. And it allows you to quickly and easily snap components in, bring everything together, and create a positional assembly. Now saying that, you also have to go around using the snap feature uh, with certain situations uh, a different way to get the results that you want. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is these parts, we're going to bring them all into this part here, uh, just like we did in another tutorial, but we're also going to line them all up onto these surfaces here. So to start off, let's start snapping these in line with these surfaces here. So let's click snap, and you can use snap on a face, a line, a point, or even the planes. So Let's click this face here, and we'll click this face here, and it's going to snap right in. Now if you look on the side, we're going to use the snap as a contact constraint so it's in line with it. Now with the snap, if you click the arrow, you're able to flip the direction from one side to another. When you're happy with the direction it's pointing in, just click outside, and it's done. Now let's click snap again. And let's click this face here. And we'll click this face here. We've got it in the direction we want. Click OK. And we'll do snap one more time. This time, let's choose this plane here. And we'll snap it to this face here. Click OK. And now we have them all lined up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw these cylinders into the cylindrical holes. So click snap get the axis line and then throw it in here and again you're able to change the direction if you want but we got it in the right direction we're happy click OK and we'll do the same to this one here click snap click the axis line and click the other axis line and you snapped it in now with a part such as this is where we're going to run into problems with using the snap feature when we use the coincident mate before, we're able to make a coincident mate between uh, this axis here and this axis here. When we make the other coincident mate, you have like a pivoting point and this will whip around and you'll have it slotted in. Now I'm going to try to do the same thing using the snap feature, but you're going to see that we don't get the result we want. So let's click snap. We'll get this axis here and we'll click this axis here. Click OK. Now let's try to whip this guy into that position there. So let's click snap, click this face here, click this face here, and you'll see that we don't get the result we want. With the positional uh, assembly using uh, 
the snap feature, it's just going to snap it into place. And as you see on the side, there isn't any uh, constraints or anything showing you that it's still there, that there's still like a constraint to say that this uh, axis has to be touching that axis. So it's just going to move around. After you move it once, uh, there's no history really behind it, so it doesn't have any uh, driving characteristics. So to do this feature and to get it into the position we want, we're going to have to do it a different way. What we're going to have to do, we've already got it lined up along this plane here. What we're going to have to do now is click this face and this face to get it going uh, horizontally the correct direction. So let's do that. Click snap. Click this face here. And we'll click this face here. Now it's in the wrong direction, so we'll click flip. And now we have it where we want it. Click OK. And let's just snap it and bring it over a little bit more. So we'll click this face here. And we'll zoom in. And we'll click this face here. Click OK. And now we've got it snapped in. So now we have all of our parts snapped in just the way we want. If you look at it in a wireframe view, you can see that they are all looking the same, all lined up nicely at the edges, all snapped in there. So using the snapping tool, it's really easy as it kind of combines the coincidence and uh, contact constraint. For positioning, it's my favorite one. I'm able just to throw everything in, snap everything together, and it looks really good. Now, the only problem, like I showed you, is that with some components, you're going to have to uh, insert them differently than you would using the constraints. So it's just a little bit of problem solving when you're putting them in. You're going to have to uh, just kind of figure it out and create a procedure to throw in an object such as this to snap it in the way you want it to be snapped in. So it just takes a little bit to uh, get used to it, but at the end, this is a very, very powerful tool. And it's uh, the best tool, in my personal opinion, and how uh, I create my assemblies in Katia to create a positional assembly. So the more you play with it, the more happy you're going to get, and you'll see the great benefits of using the snapping tool to create positional assemblies within Katia V5. And that concludes our tutorial on the, position, on the uh, snap feature within Katia V5.